Hello. Recently I got a bunch of photos and I wanted to archive them. And these photos were in very, very different sizes. I got photos that were very tiny and I had photos that were between the sizes of 5 and 12 megapixels. And I wanted to put them all in a reasonable size, like 3 megapixels, while keeping the original aspect rate ratio. So, my input files looked like this. I had very small ones, medium ones in tower format, medium ones in other kinds of formats, and large ones in all kinds of formats. And I wanted to put them in reasonable formats. I wanted to keep the smaller ones small, and I wanted to move the big ones into a standard size, which would be 3 megapixels, while keeping the original ratio. And I also wanted to compress them uh, with 80% quality for JPEG, because that's mostly enough for photos, and do it in a batch job. So I went to the internet and was looking for solutions and what came up most often was convert to a specific screen size. Now this obviously has a problem because it is not respecting the aspect ratio. So from a tower image I would get a landscape image and from a smaller image I would get upscale uh, I would upscale them which I don't want to. So this was not an option. And the second solution I found was resizing with a fixed percentage of the original size. Um, this again is not very uh, good because the small images get even tinier, the medium ones get small and the big ones are still somehow stay too big. So this again was not a solution. And after not finding a really good answer, I went over to Stack Overflow and asked my question if anyone in the internet knows how to convert images in a reasonable uh, manner to get a fixed um, aspect, um, a fixed, fixed resolution at the end. And I indeed got an answer quite quickly from Mark Stachel, which I thank for. And the answer is um, you call it with this at sign and this greater than sign. And the result looks like this. We iterate through all the files that have a JPEG ending. We move them to a file I call old file. And then we convert and resize them with the quality 80 setting to the original file name and remove the original file. And this also works as a one-liner. I hope this helps. Thanks for listening.